Hello and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Yes, that's right. We're back. Woo! Etc. Since the last time I noticed that there had been DLC that I hadn't noticed, if you see what I mean, the DLC had been out for a while and I hadn't seen, I've been a bit more on the ball, and today, hey, hey on the ball, uh, there has been some more DLC involving uh, pickups and SUVs. So now there are three, I believe, pickup or SUVs in the game and some extra parts because they're slightly different. So uh, yeah, so let's have a look at those. We're gonna we're nearly up to say 50k, which is roughly the amount I like to go to the auction with. So maps, it, maps. Perhaps it would be nice to go and buy one of these once we have the cash. But let's start by having a look at one. Okay. This is a Caster Earthquake Rex, which is a great, if not very improbable name. Now, if you are into vehicles, you probably know that this is based on a... That's right, yes, based on a... Um, uh, of which I have no knowledge. <laughs> so yes, there you go, it's one of those. Good. And onwards. Car is hard to control and gearbox. Alright, let's stick it on a lifter. What job was that? Don't want that. Don't really want the Delray impersonator either. Okay. Not spend too much time looking at the phone because it rings all the time. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Hard is hard to control, right? So it's probably to do with these huge wheels. Let's have a look under here. Well, we can see the gearbox issues, and here we've got some steering rack and outer and inner tie rod issues. I assume you have to be under the car for that. Yep. As per norms. So it does look quite different under here in the sense that the steering rack is in front of this uh, this sort of stuff, the drive shaft. It's kind of because usually the steering rack ends up sort of being this side of the, the wheels. But oh, there's this extra drive shaft coming down from... Oh, it's all very different and new looking. Oh, a transfer case on the back of the uh, gearbox, right. Uh, that's quite different to anything we've had so far. There's some balloon tyres. Right, there we go. So, oop, there's a bit of chocolate. Ah, sweet bar. Yeah, I can check that on the other side. No other signs of chocolate worth looking in the... Uh, uh, not bazingas. Why am I thinking bazingas? That's a, that's a silly word for naughty parts. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm trying to do two things at once, apparently. It's just too many things. Oh dear. I don't know. You pick a game that's easy to play and talk over, and then you fail to be able to talk over it. It's a bit of a bit of an epic fuh. Epic fuh. So there we go. We've got the leaf spring issues at the back. I just have to have a to jack it up to look at. And same on this side. I don't believe you need to take the wheels off to get to those, so... Alright, let's jack it up in the app. Yeah, it's quite a nice looking beast. So we need that steering rack out. And now to get to this gearbox, how do we disattach that? We need to take that off. So we just take this front... Ah, oh, wow, it's nice and easy. Awesome. Right, so then we take off the main... Well, the main, the rear drive shaft. So the main, it's very frontest. Come on, drive shaft is notoriously hard to find the spot for. There we go. And take off those bolts at a huge distance. Oh, just about reached down that end. There we go. And then, oh, let's go back down here. So now we can remove the transfer case, just four bolts holding that onto the gearbox it seems. And then the gear oh of course I'm taking the start motor off. Cool, we can take it off from underneath. It's often the case that whenever you're underneath it has to be taken out from the engine bay or vice versa. But there we go. Let's see what else is wrong. Okay, well pressure plate looks a bit chocolatey. This is all the same as normal in here. That looks like the flywheel's also knackered, so let's get that off. Alright, let's see how much we've found. Okay, so there's still some faulty control parts we've not found. Got all the gearbox bits, obviously. So what, what control parts am I missing? 
Uh, things like this sway bar seems okay. This is some bushings. Oh, that's what I was trying to think of earlier when I was saying bazingas bushings. <laughs> it's almost the same. Bazingas bushings. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming, because we all know how good the assuming is, that uh, that the control parts will do a suspension. And of course, I could have tested this guy. I could fall out of the idea of doing testing. I must admit, just possibly a bad move. Uh, I suppose it's also possible that these parts are knackered without me being able to tell. Oh, that's really nice. So the black parts can often look a bit wacky. Alright, so it could be these parts in here. That looks alright. Taking the sway bar off this side. We examined the sway bar on the other side. It seemed okay. Uh, there are more rubber bushings than previous vehicles, but still. All seems fine. That all looks okay. Hmm. Oh, there's the leaf springs at the back, of course. What an idiot. If this is the first video of mine you've watched. You're probably wondering, has this guy got no memory? Uh, and the answer is, I'm afraid, no. No, no memory to speak of. That and that looked like more than three parts that I had discovered. Let's have a check. No, no, that is all of them. God, how silly I am. Right, okay, so now we buy the parts. Which is all the same, I believe. Uh, so we need. Uh, so it started with an inner tie rod, then leaf spring plates. Inner tie rod. Uh, yes, leaf spring plate, yes. Uh, two of them, please. two of these. Two of those. Uh, steering rack and a sway bar front end the B. Steering rack B. Right, and then the gearbox was these things. Clutch plate. Yes. Clutch push plate. Yes. Flywheel. Yes. The gearbox V8. Gearbox V8. Alright, and let's do the reverse of our previous dance. Put these fresh parts back onto our exciting new truck. Especially exciting if you're into trucks at all. Um, I'm not particularly fussed myself, but it's different. Different's good, in the sense that, you know, this is a game and that doing the same thing over and over again is less than stellar entertainment. Where does this leaf thing go? I am in assemble mode. Oh, is that on the other side? It's round, oh, it's round this. Why, why am I not able to see the leaf springs position? It'll, oh, there it is. Look. Oh, dear me. Let's blame it on the fact this is new and exciting, or different, as I was claiming just now, which is, of course, awesome. There we go. Just a little bit of overlay on the uh, interface. Uh, right, so the other thing I need to do whilst I'm underneath is pull myself down the car, if I can, on these... No, no, I can't. Awesome. Let's just walk down then. <laughs> the old-fashioned way. And let's do the gearbox back together. No, nope, don't put that bit in, no. Nope. That's right, do it all... Oh, good. Good, good effort, game. That's right, because I was underneath the front. Look, see? I'm underneath the front. Don't put me at the back. So did I not buy a clutch plate? Huh. I'll teach you to do it from memory. I'm sure I bought a clutch plate. Did I buy two pressure plates? Is that what I've done? I think that's what I've done. That's what I've done. <laughs> My super accurate clicking. Awesome work. Never mind. What's an extra clutch plate between your friends, eh? I'm sure they'll buy it back off me at a slightly reduced amount of money. Woo! Uh, so, that's the that's easy one. And then this drive shaft, of course, is slightly more problematic. There we go.
Lovely, and the other end. Yes. Okay, good. So that's that bit done and dusted. Right, so the rest of the suspension fixes. Can't get down there. Just click on a wheel bay, it gets us to the right place. Right. <laughs> Steering right. Tie rods. No sway bar for the front. I don't think there's anything else, so on with the wheel. To the other side. One tie rod, or oh, inner tie rod, and an outer tie rod. Sway bar. Oops, let's put the sway bar on. Before we put the wheel on, I don't want to forget. There we go. And the wheel. Now, was that everything? That was indeed everything. So now we have to fix the body parts. So let's bring it down from the ceiling, where it has been dancing this time. Spot the panels with chocolate on. There's one. They have rear fenders now. Oh, that's chocolatey and that's chocolatey. Okay, what else did I miss? Right front right fender, rear left door, rear left fender. Oh yeah, I got that. Hood. Really? Did it say hood? Yeah, it did. Hood and trunk. I don't see any chocolate on the hood. Yeah, well, I'll take your word for it. And it's just the trunk, this rear thing. It's not that very problematic either. Shame we can't replace the bed with some nice sort of maple wood stripes or something. Anyway, yes, enough of the wandering no nonsense of the voice of the wumbling can't speak. Ah. So, Caster Earthquake Rex. So, I presume it's all in the body part shop. She's got longer and longer. Still wish she could choose a manufacturer on the left. Caster Earthquake Rex. Here we go. Uh, um, what do we need? Caster Earthquake. Caster Earthquake. Oh, hang on. Earthquake Rex. There's two different versions. So I've got the Rex. Okay. So, uh, Rex. And who remembers what I needed? I needed a hood. A front right fender, hood, rear left right, a front right fender, hood, uh, rear left door I believe, uh, rear left fender, and a trunk, and a trunk, okay, so, press the wrong buttons as usual, there's that, go, so that's that done. Do we have to paint it? Do we have to press the right buttons? We have to press the right buttons. No, we don't have to paint it. So that's that job done. So there we go, the all new Caster Earthquake Rex. I don't know how different it is from the Caster Earthquake. I, I imagine it has Rex written on it. Oh, oh no, so it has Earthquake written on it. Whatever. Uh, there we go, so that was exciting in a sort of way. Nine and a half grand, that's getting us almost up to our <clears throat> uh, auction money. Let's see what's here. I don't want that. That is a very quick job, though. Go on, let's take this quick job to finish off with. Just can't resist a quick job. Wow, that's mustardy. <clears throat> right, car is apparently loud. Let's double check that we don't need to take anything off the engine. Can we just remove that, I wonder? It's hard to tell, isn't it, actually? Ugh. Do, do, do. Having a memory would be awesome at this sort of situation, because you'd know, perhaps, having looked at that, whether that required something to be unscrewed. And it doesn't. So, hurrah. Uh, okay. I assume that's everything. Yeah. So, let's buy those from the exhaust shop. And they are front exhaust pipe V8 of and two, uh, two middle muffs and a rear muff V8 of so two middle muffs and a rear muff V8 of okay and then we put it together just 
seconds it takes. Oh, it would be seconds, wouldn't it, if I can actually find the hot spot? What's a hot spot not? Uh oh. Ah, oh, there was a moment there where I had it highlighted there. Oh. Uh, there we go. And then click on it. No. There we go. Click on that one spot again and do the middle mouse and the front. And that's that job done. Awesome. $960. Oops. Get crushed by the, the doodad. So there we go. That was like a minute's worth of work. Uh, loud and accelerating body panels. And it's a nice new secure. Go on then. Uh, let's decline that job. And take that one. Oh, I do like this little secure. Sakura. Let's take off the chocolatey parts. Well, obviously chocolatey parts. Got some exhaust issues. And the lights seem okay. The tiny little front bumper which is hilarious. That actually, that looks a bit rusty. Okay, so body parts. Yeah, front left fender, hood, right headlight. Yeah, loud and accelerating. So that shouldn't take long to find. No, wrong button every time. Every single time. Uh, do we need to... Mm, might need to unscrew something from the... Uh, yeah, these are bolted on, look. So I'm just going to have to remove these manifolds. I wish there were two. What was that called? Uh, engine manifold? Oh, I6. Right, that's why I didn't recognise what it was uh, saying. Right, and it's only on one side. Okay, so up in the air. Spread your legs, Mrs. Mrs. Secura. Just need to have a little delve inside, make sure everything's okay. Go, that's that one, and there's another part down the end. Good. <coughs> so, uh, nope, that's the wrong thing again. Every single time. So we need a front exhaust section I6. Front exhaust section I6. And a rear muffler V8. OV rear muffler V8. Of. Okay, so that's that. And that's that. And bring it back down to us. And then also we need some secure parts. Body shop. Uh, JKL secure comes first. <laughs> Right, and what is it that we required? We required a front left fender hood and right headlight. Front left fender. No, oh, front left fender. Hood. And a headlight. Right headlight, okay. Uh, GT. Is this a GT20? Something having that. Oh, I buy that. <laughs> it's a GT20, yes. <laughs> ah! So a new hood, new front left fender, and a new right headlight. And that is the job done for a Grand 13, apart from having put the manifolds back on, of course. It just, obviously I was about to do that. And just, mm, I'm not, not, I'm not. <sighs> what do you do? Having a memory must be awesome. Who'd, who'd know? Right. Oh, I wish I could uh, buy some more power-ups to speed up my bolt even more, because once you got used to the fact that it's quite fast, it feels slow again. Anyway, mumbles. Okay, good, that's that done. dollars Let's see what is available. Oh, another security GT20, but with lots of things to do, and a brakes job, which I can't be asked with. Awesome, well thank you for watching come back next time and we might visit the auction we're getting that close and uh, buy ourselves um, a truck or SUV certainly don't want that and uh, see how that goes thank you very much see you soon